Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is creating a system which will allow us to change a mesh's material or the mesh itself or basically any kind of appearance you want based upon an external value and in this specific example that's going to be changing based upon the season. So it's not going to do it automatically, we will have to assign what season it is but you can then change that if you wanted. So for example this could be real world seasons or maybe in game seasons. So as you'll see here, in my example, I've got a lake. This is obviously frozen over, so it's winter. If I select it, I can change the season to be summer, and it's now going to be an unfrozen lake, just an actual lake of water. Obviously for spring and autumn, I'm leaving it as just the unfrozen lake, as it's not really gonna be frozen, but obviously in other cases, you can have spring and autumn do different things as well, if you wanted. So this is what we're gonna be going over today. This is just one very basic way of doing it. There are so many others, and this is one which I'm going over and also you'll notice I am changing it here in the app in the actor details itself I'm also going to show you a way to do it for the entire map so if you have multiple things it will change for all of them not just for this one lake so for example if I were to get another one in here let me just put it up there just so you can actually see it let's change this one to winter so we've now got one in winter one in summer let's say you want to change both of them to winter what I can do is change it in an external blueprint which I have here so if I were to change this one to be winter, what we can do is compile that, and then when I press play, they will both change to winter, as you can see there. So again, many different ways of doing it, and I'm gonna be going over this today. So without further ado, let me delete this code, and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually create this value which we're going to change. So again, for me, that is the seasons, but for you, this could be season, time of day, level, really it could be anything you want. So level, I mean, obviously the player's level, the higher their level, the more their cosmetics of their character will change, for example. Really, you can do this for anything you want. So what we're gonna do is right click, go to blueprints, not blueprint class, but just blueprints here. Then we want to create an enumeration. And I'm gonna name this one Seasons Enum. But again, name this whatever makes most sense for you and open it up straight away. In here, we're just gonna add in all the values which we want. So again, for me, it's Seasons. So I'm gonna press add enumerator, changing this one to be winter, add another one, spring another one for summer and one final one for autumn and you can have as many or as little as you want in here as well it doesn't have to be four it could be one ten twenty whatever you like but these are the only ones which i'm doing today because obviously it's the four seasons so we'll save and we can close that straight away you can add descriptions in them as well if you wanted but that's just purely for you to look at so you know what it is i obviously know what these seasons are so let's close this and now we want to actually create the blueprint which we're using for our actor or our mesh. Now I imagine you probably already have this, but if you don't, you're gonna to want to create one. So I'm gonna right click, go to blueprint class, create an actor, and I'm gonna name this one Lake VP, as again, that's the example I'm doing. In here, all I'm gonna do is add a component, adding in a plane, just for my water, and I'm going to name that water. We'll compile and save that. And now if you want to change the value inside of this blueprint, like I was at the very beginning of the video, what you're gonna do is add a variable down here, naming this one whatever you want. So for me, I'll name it current season, or just season, whatever makes sense for you. And we're gonna change this from a Boolean value to be the enumeration we just made, and I named mine seasons enum, like so. And we can compile and save that. We also want to tick the little i next to it to make sure it's instance editable so we can actually change it in the editor. Once you've done that, we're gonna go over to the construction script and start doing the code. So if we hold control and drag in our current season there, what we're gonna do is drag out this and get a switch on seasons enum, connecting that in to the construction script there. Now I'm doing this based on changing the material. However, if you want to change the static mesh, that also works perfectly fine. So what we're gonna do is drag in our static mesh which we just created earlier. And out of this, I'm doing set material. However, if you wanted to change the mesh, you can just do set static mesh. It's as simple as that and just change it for what you want. So for me, it's material. And I'm gonna put winter into there like so. Then what I'm gonna do is duplicate the set material and go into summer as well. As again, I'm only doing summer and winter. However, connect in as many as you want. So if you're doing seasons and you want for all four, Connect in all four if you're doing something different, so player level or time of day, whatever, just connect everything in which you want. 
And again, I'm also going to put spring and autumn into summer like so. Then I'm going to change the materials. So for winter, I want it to be the ice material, which I created earlier. And for spring, summer and autumn, I just want it to be the lake material, which comes with the starter content. And that is all I need to do. So I can compile and save that. And that's the code done. So let me place this in a level now. So if I drag in my lake BP, and I'm just going to move this into a location which I want. So let me just put it here, move into position. I think that is going to be perfectly fine for me, like so. And again, you'll notice we have it as ice now, because by default, the value is winter. If I change it to summer, we're now changing to this water here. So you see, this is already working perfectly how we want. We've already set it up to change based upon a certain value. But what if you want to do this for all of them? So like I showed you earlier in the video as well, if you we want to do this for, let's say, five objects at once. What we can do is go back to our content browser and right click and create a blueprint class. And we want to create a game instance. So you want to open all classes and search for game instance here. If you already have a game instance, great, use that one that you have. If you don't have one, this is how you make it. Press select and I'm going to name this one tester game instance. Don't just call it game instance because there is already something with that name and so that will confuse you in a moment's time. So give it a different name, for example, test a game instance or the name of your game, game instance, anything along those lines and open it up straight away. Now in here, once again, what we're going to do is once it loads anyway. So as I was saying, all we need to do in here is add the plus variable like we did in the blueprint earlier and call this one current season setting this to be the variable type of our enumerator we made earlier. So we're doing the exact same thing we did in the blueprint, we're just doing it in here instead. So we'll compile and save that. Then if we go back to our blueprint, we can copy the code from the switch and everything else after that. So select it, hit Control C, go to the event graph, event begin play, and hit Control V. Now all we need to do is get this selection from the game instance instead. So out of event begin play, we're going to cast to our game instance, and I named mine tester game instance like so. Object will be get game instance, and as tester game instance, we're simply just going to get current season, plugging that into the switch here like so. And now whenever we change it inside of the game instance, this will then apply the same thing which we did earlier, obviously working for all of the different assets we have in our game now. So as long as this code is inside of each blueprint, it will work perfectly for you. So we'll compile and save that. One last thing you need to do is if you just created the game instance, you want to go to edit, project settings, go down to maps and modes and make sure that your game instance class is set to the tester game instance or whatever it is that we just created. So we'll close that. And like I say, that should now be it done. So if I were to get another one of these in, we just do this like so to again, make it easier to see. What we can do is if I to open the game instance, change this to be summer, and then we hit play, they'll both change to summer perfectly like so. And I can also change this one to be summer in here instead as I've got it set up both ways. But obviously if I hit play, that would be set to summer as well anyway, because I've got both pieces connected up in the construction script and event begin play there, as you can see here. And as I was saying earlier, there's so many different things you can do with this. The, end, the possibilities are endless. And there's also many different ways of doing this. So if you wanted to do something like this for a much larger map and a lot more things, you'd probably want to look into utilizing data layers, which is a new feature inside of Unreal Engine 5, which looks absolutely amazing. And it allows you to smoothly change basically one level to another, keeping the main things the same, just having some small environmental changes. But I think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set it up so we can change something inside of an environment, for example, this lake, to have different meshes or different materials based upon a current value. In my specific example, it is a lake changing with seasons. So again, the lake will be frozen over in winter and not in summer. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.